Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder, and today we're at Fast Act Smokers with Jay and JP from the Barbacoa Boys, and they're here for a test cook for their brand new 500 gallon pit. We're gonna be checking that out today, and we're gonna spend some time hanging out with them and trying the meat that's gonna come off in just a little bit here. So, Jay and JP, why don't you tell us about the Barbacoa Boys, how we can follow you on social media, what you guys do in the LA area. All right, so we are the Barbacoa Boys, JP and I. We pop-ups, competition barbecue, weddings, you name it. You can follow us at the Barbacoa Boys on Facebook, Instagram, and the website. Basically, we do low and slow barbecue, and our shtick on that is American South meets South American. I'm from Kansas City. I'm passionate about Kansas City barbecue. I also have lived in LA my whole life, so I love Mexican food and those kind of things. And JP spent a lot of time traveling uh, south of the border and got to experience a lot of that food so he brings that to the table and we kind of meld in this delicious connection there. We hope to be an homage to Latin American pit cooking tradition mixed with uh, traditional southern style barbecue as well. Alright so we're going to take a look at this pit today. It is an awesome smoker. I mean I don't know how exactly to put it into words, but in LA, if you can find some place that's gonna build you a cooker that cooks better than anything you can get anywhere else, and something that's made right here and exactly to your liking, completely customizable to whatever you want, I mean, that's something special, and that's exactly what they've got here. Um, this hat that they gave me is pretty sick. I love this hat, it's a pretty cool hat. But it's not nearly as cool as this smoker is. And we're gonna take a look at it. Um, it's got a lot of features that are really cool and kind of unique. It's got, you know, a chicken griller. It's got this vertical section here. It's got, you know, this high temperature barbecue paint. All that stuff really makes it something that you're not gonna find every day. And all of it is something that can be completely customized to whatever your liking is. So let's take a look at this pit. Eric's gonna go through all the details of the pit with us. Um, and if you want to know more information about the dimensions of the pit or certain details or how you can contact Eric or any kind of information regarding the pit or how you can get one, stick around at the end of the video. We're going to have all that for you. The key is that smoked salmon right there. Dude, that looks good. Oops, Eric, we're gonna have to talk about your knives later. Uh, JP, what the? <laughs> All right, guys, come on in. Have you had a tetanus shot recently? I have, actually, from another smoker incident. <laughs> for nothing. For like you take them off? Yeah. It's good promotion. It instantly is good. And then they're they're Yeah. But then you get Alright, they also made some chimichurri sauce here. I believe JP made this. And I'm going to do my first chimichurri on brisket slice here, see what it tastes like. Oh man, that's good. That chimichurri is so good. Man. Alright, hey! So we're looking at a 500 gallon fat stack smoker on a custom trailer for the Barbacoa Boys. and. Uh, wanted to walk you guys through some of the features today. So uh, as you can see, uh, this is a uh, standard offset smoker and it's sitting on a custom built trailer. Um, it has a few neat options that I kind of want to show you guys, but first let's take a look inside the actual cook chamber here. So you can see we've got some goodies here going. We got some salmon and some brisket and some ribs and some pork butt. You, plenty of real estate on a 500 gallon. You've got all kinds of space. And just like all of our smokers, uh, everything is 
pretty much built to order. So if you have a logo or anything that you want to add to this, we uh, we can laser cut details uh, and add little personal touches that really kind of make it yours. So this smoker features six gauges, uh, two at each end and two in the middle, allowing you to accurately measure temperatures uh, at pretty much every point in the cook chamber where you're going to want to be paying attention at what temperature the air is. We're very proud of our branded fat stack gauges. You can take a look at them. We've got our logo on there. That's pretty neat. Uh, and all of our smokers come with those, obviously. So this smoker has an additional uh, warming rack, which is actually also a second vertical smoker. So this warming drawer actually also functions as a second vertical smoker. Uh, if you look inside the cabinet here, you can see that this small vent can be opened, accessing heat from the firebox and creating a second smoker. When closed, it can function as a warming box capable of holding up to eight hotel pans, sliding shelves that can create easy access. Inside the smoker, you'll notice there's a double baffle. That baffle is designed to create even cooking temperatures inside the cabinet and allow for successful smoking of just about anything you want in here. The stack on top of this cabinet has another damper, so you can also control airflow there, optimizing heat distribution and smoke for whatever you're cooking in here. So this is another example of the way that we at Fast Act like to customize our products. Uh, this is the logo for the Barbacoa Boys. Uh, you can see it's been laser cut out of quarter inch plate and that will be mounted on the firebox located just behind me here. One feature that the Barbacoa Boys got that we're very excited about uh, is a custom built chicken griller. This is a direct fire pit that's designed to cook just about whatever you want uh, inside of its fairly massive 42 by 22 inch cooking space. This pit features an all stainless basket designed to be flipped using one handed operation, allowing you to expose either side to the fire to control where the heat uh, is cooking the meat. The basket is very easy to operate. Uh, there are two latches, one on either side, which you can slide off with your thumb. And then when you slide this locking mechanism forward, and then open the basket and access whatever it is you want to cook on here. And of course you want to control your airflow, which is what these custom made vents are for. Of course if you're going to run a wood fired barbecue you got to have somewhere to put your wood and that's where our custom made log rack comes in. This one features a stainless steel prep table built into the log rack so you can do your prep and cutting work right on top. If you want your very own Fat Stack Pit, you can reach us uh, via our Instagram, at Fat Stack Smokers, uh, or at our website, www.fatstacksmokers.com. Um, all of our contact information is in both of those places, and we would love to build you your very own custom pit. Don't forget to follow us, uh, Instagram, at Fat Stack Smokers, Twitter, at Fat Stack Smokers. Uh, reach out, and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching Mad Scientist Barbecue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it informative and liked it, please give it a thumbs up down below. Please subscribe to the channel, and you can also follow me on social media, especially on Instagram, at Mad Scientist Barbecue. We'll see you next time. Okay, so this warming drawer actually functions as... What the f*** is that? <laughs> Do you want to maybe silence your phone? My <laughs> is chiming, so... <laughs> Alright, go ahead, go ahead. Alright. Alright.